Hey traders, so today I wanted to walk you through one of the incredible trades that we just had today in the live trading room at activetraders.chat. We were looking at GE, General Electric. It had a massive sell-off here uh, in the pre-market and made it onto our scanners. The incredible thing about GE is what it did during the day and it's really a testament to how strong the stock market is and how bullish the bulls are. Um, we saw GE sell off quite a few dollars in the pre-market and then as soon as it opened the buying action came in buying GE all the way back up sellers slamming price back down and buyers slowly creeping upward this gave us an opportunity to implement some of the charting patterns and strategies that we use uh, at activetraders.chat uh, volume profile as you see on the left uh, we use market auction theory to identify areas of interest, to identify where the fair value versus the unfair value is, and really pinpoint some entries. What we did today, uh, which worked out very, very well, uh, was we picked out some triangle patterns that were very fairly obvious. The first one being here around $23. Uh, we waited for price here to really just coil up, collect some longs, we knew that the selling power was beginning to diminish and buyers were beginning to come in. And so at the break of three, we went long and took a quick scalp about 10 cents or so before sellers came back in and slammed price down again. We did have another opportunity. We waited a little bit, a little bit of patience, and then we saw price sell off here. I'll show you guys on the book map because it's a lot easier to see, but we really got in at a perfect time. Now we were patient and we waited for price to get down again. We knew that there was a trend line forming. Um, and as soon as we saw that the selling volume had increased to a point where buyers were now thinking that it was too low, buyers coming back in, increasing the buying volume, the Delta was telling us the price action, the movement was telling us uh, the area that it picked the 2280 was an important area from the past as well. So we knew that something was going on here. I started on a long position here. Nothing too big, just starting to get my beak wet. And then as soon as we realized that price was actually perching up on top of, um, we ended up uh, adding quite a, in a, quite a few places. We added at, uh, bought in at 2279 in the initial position, then uh, added more at 22. 86 being the break of this trend line we saw buyers coming in with some strength and we saw the uh, uh, sellers um, or orders being absorbed by the buyers we rode that trend up past the breaking point of this high here which was also a triangle pattern setting up um, and as soon as we saw that strength coming in 14,000 buyers or buying contracts coming in uh, we added a little more to the position there. Now from here, it was quite a trade. Um, we, we managed to take quite a bit of profits um, off of this. I'm just going to zoom out a little bit more so you guys can see. Um, now the morning session here uh, basically rode this trend all the way to the top, uh, paying myself along the way um, as sellers attempted to come in with strength. And then we were looking for an opportunity to continue getting in long because price had still only gone so far and we were expecting uh, buyers here to buy General Electric all the way up to fill the gap that had been left in the pre-market. So we knew the trend was up using uh, our uh, analysis, using order flow techniques and uh, market auction theory. We knew that these patterns uh, were collecting buyers. There was responsive buying going on. They weren't selling off their positions. They were doing the same thing what we were doing was trying to get in. So there's all sorts of patterns in here that you'll learn with us in the live trading room. Uh, we have head and shoulders patterns. We have triangle patterns. We have channels going on. But basically what we see happening is two very simple things, very simple concepts. We have consolidation these areas of consolidation, and then we have price exploration. And all we were doing was looking for that discovery phase. When is price going to stop consolidating? When are they going to stop buying in? And when is this actually going to break? Well, we identified yet another area. I had already taken quite a bit of profits here, and I decided uh, as soon as I got back from lunch there that 
this area right here at uh, 2324, that break of that high and then the consult small consolidation back inward and buyers showing some strength here inside of the volume meant that I could get back in. So I risked off of the breaking point from the previous session once I saw uh, that uh, buyers came in with some strength. I moved my stop up just below, really cutting down the risk exponentially, and then rode this baby all the way up for the most part, uh, paying myself little bits at a time. I, I didn't manage to catch this next break, triangle break, but you can see that you could have done the exact same thing once again, over and over, price showing you that there there's consolidation, that buyers are getting in here, and there's opportunity to break higher. So uh, it was an incredible trade. Really enjoyed this one in the room. We had so many opportunities to get in long. We made some really nice profits today. Uh, but thanks a lot for watching. My name's Del the Trader. Hey traders, if you liked what you saw, don't forget to hit that like button, as well as subscribe for more content. Now, if you want to watch me trade live every morning at 9 a.m. Eastern Time, join us in our live community at activetraders.chat, the private network for active day traders. See you at activetraders.chat.